Great, and welcome now in our Partner Connect series. Um, we're now going to talk about promoting economic pluralism. Uh, promoting economic pluralism is the organization I founded and uh, is the organization that has put on the Festival for Change, but it's also a separate organization. So um, I thought it would be good to just talk briefly about what we do uh, as well. Uh, and I'm going to also just show you a bit of, about our website uh, <clears throat> so that um, you can get a bit of a handle on what we do and um, ask questions. So <clears throat> promoting economic pluralism, um, <clears throat> it's about making space for diversity uh, in economics. Now, what we mean by that is not just diversity of different theories and schools of thought in academia, but also different views from people with different histories, uh, different cultures, uh, different backgrounds, because people are very much part of the economy and their views of it and how they feel about it and what they see as important very much reflects, we believe, their culture, their background and so on. So we can see that um, if you are an African American, then your history uh, of the economy, the, the fact that even after slavery, um, African Americans were excluded and uh, discriminated against in terms of what they could do economically. Um, they were segregated, uh, lynching and so on to keep them in their place is an important part of economic history and their understanding of how the economy works. But of course, from the white perspective of running and the elite, that is not an important part, that doesn't feature. So the economy is very much not just um, theories and schools of thought, but also perspectives and histories and how people see the economy and what it means to them. And we think that is really important. <clears throat> We also uh, believe that teaching needs to change. Um, and here you can see that we created, uh, sorry, I'll go to the accreditation scheme first. <clears throat> we created a new set of um, criteria for um, how teaching should happen. And obviously diversity was key, but also ecologically consciousness, real world approaches, a reflective perspective uh, that means being critical, self-contact. One second. Um, Sorry about that. Um, um, some people have just turned up at our house creating quite a lot of noise. So yes, we have an accreditation system. We worked with people around the world to develop standards for teaching from a pluralist perspective. Uh, we also had a campaign around using the 50 years of the Nobel uh, Prize, which was not actually a real Nobel Prize at all. It was not set up by the Nobel family. Um, it was actually created by the Central Bank of Sweden as uh, really an H, uh, a PR coup for economics. And we held our own, not the Nobel Prize. We created that, which was won by Mariana Matsukato. And we got thousands of people voting and engaged with different ideas. Um, we also have a magazine, the Mint magazine. And hopefully you have all uh, taken up free subscriptions. Um, this, the idea of that is to put academia into uh, the real world, to make it engaging and understandable and, be, and so that people don't need to be technical and know the mathematics or the modeling technicalities to understand that there are very different ways of seeing the economy, which have different effects and uh, mean different things in policy and so on. And it includes a review of Matthias's uh, book um, 
and, uh, and much else besides. You can, it has a search function and you can, uh, we've had about 15 issues. Uh, we do um, interesting, fun covers, uh, which you can see uh, with many different themes, food, uh, space, uh, uh, health, um, uh, and so on. Uh, you can also uh, search. So if we do a search here, uh, let's do financial uh, mathematics. Let's see what comes out of that. Uh, ah, <laughs> Mateus comes up. Um, but also uh, about the Nobel bailout of uh, some Nobel Prize winners made spectacular mistakes and creating huge losses. Um, but also about uh, the dominance of men, uh, different sorts of modeling, uh, different ways of thinking about money that uh, John Wood writes about, who's also a mentor. Steve Keen, uh, who's a fascinating guy who's done great work. Um, I, I've interviewed him a number of times and he's written a lot and so on. So there's a huge amount of material there. So do um, have a look at it search, find interesting stuff and do share it with your friends. Someone actually sent me an email today that they a subscriber and they've shared various articles uh, with other people. So we're trying to raise awareness of different ways of thinking that will help us innovate um, to avoid the climate change crisis, the inequality crisis, the fragmentation that we see and so on. And we believe that unless we start thinking outside current economic box, the current common sense that people see as economics, we cannot survive as a civilized human race. Thanks very much. So um, let me just uh, switch off sharing my screen. Um, and um, I hope uh, um, you have some questions for me because uh, I can't really ask myself questions. <laughs> um, and I'll ask you uh, up if you like. Um, and we have got a question immediately in the Q&A, brilliant. Um, I have a question, Matthias, great. Okay, well, if you can come up first and ask a question, uh, just switch your camera and um, your microphone on and... Um, that will give a chance for other people, hopefully, to come up with yes. questions too. Yeah, so I'm, I'm putting myself in the in the shoes of students, uh, maybe some of my own students, if they go will continue uh, look for other uh, programs, or if they, if they do an undergrad and they want to go to masters, they do a masters, want to go to, and they want to go to a department that does uh, uh, pluralistic economics and they want to know uh, what kind of uh, lines of research they have so do you have a kind of a repository and then and then a sociable way of, of doing that maybe you covered that but you went kind of quick and... well thank you for that question that's a great setup because it's one thing i didn't show but we have uh, on our website courses we've identified um and that are we reckon uh, look broadly pluralist in nature. Now we haven't accredited them yet. Uh, we hope to at, uh, in, in the future, but uh, we've identified quite a, a lot and you can search them by country. Um, you can um, search by course names. Um, there's all the, the universities you can see, uh, the countries um, you can say, so if we go to Germany, search, um, then you find there are quite a few um, courses in Germany, um, the, the Netherlands, and then we've got quite a few in the Netherlands, um, which might be of interest to um, Lucia. Um, oh, there we go. So we've got uh, Erasmus University of Rotterdam, Utrecht, actually, a couple of new Utrecht, um, and, uh, and so on. So you can find, now those we don't sort of guarantee, and obviously they may change, but they have links so you can go and look and uh, to, to, to find out more about them. 
and we hope uh, we were trialing the accreditation system when the pandemic uh, broke out, which meant that universities had other things to think about apart from piloting uh, uh, our accreditation system. So we put it on hold for a bit. We hope to come back to it um, once things settle down a bit and, um, and, and move it forward. And actually, I had a, um, I'm having a meeting with someone at King's College London uh, next week who is interested in it. Uh, so there is interest and we have a lot of support from academic institutions for it. It's just that at the moment, uh, things are pretty tough uh, for, for universities. Thank you very much for that question, uh, Matthias. I'm just going to... Uh, oh, close the, the uh, shared window. Um, so, um, would that... Um, oh, that's I'm going to put a bit of light on me. Um, ah, yes, we've got two. Oh, great, we've got two questions. Uh, Mateus, Mateus, <laughs> are you going to run the Not the Nobel Prize again? Well, we hope to, um, and we will be looking for funding, obviously, uh, uh, to do it. And uh, maybe uh, next year we'll see. We can only do so much. And uh, this year we focus particularly on uh, organising this festival, and we are going to be using the um, the results of this to design something um, next year we hope we'll, we can get funding for having learned a huge amount uh, from this festival. Um, does anyone else have some questions? Lucia, have you, uh, is it Lucia? Lucia, uh, um, have you studied any economics as part of your course? Um, have you, would you be interested in, uh, in terms of understanding sort of global change, understanding the economic system more? I'll tell you what, I'll bring you onto the stage, and put you on the, the spot. <laughs> Sorry to do this. I hope you don't mind. Um, <laughs> I was interested. Did you, as part of your course, do you study any economics? Do you? Look um, at we do have some basic, like the very basics of like business and some economics, but we also have, for example, um, environmental economics. So it's already a little bit more the sustainable side, I guess, of it. We have just like new economies, like a little bit going also into different. Um, system so therefore I'm very much interested in those things I'm just was wondering like how because you want yeah how do people participate in the organization or how can they yeah if they're interested well firstly obviously um, you should uh, be able to subscribe to the Mint magazine and uh, also subscribe to our newsletters uh, to keep up with us you can become a member of the organization um, so, you know, and we run various projects. Obviously, the festival is one thing uh, uh, we've run, but we hope to do not the Nobel Prize again. Um, so there are various things you can keep in touch with and participate in what we're doing, follow us, uh, all that sort of uh, all that sort of thing. But also use our resources because you might um, want to do a master's. Uh, I mean, if you're interested. Um, you could do a master's around global political economy. Uh, there's a lot of courses on uh, on international political economy. Uh, that is a thriving area, which is generally pluralist in perspective, and um, and looks at the interface between obviously politics and economics, um, which is obviously a crucial crucial area. Are you thinking of doing a master's or? Um, at some point. Maybe I first want to work and then do masters. So to really know which master would be fitting, um, yeah, I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's uh, that's very sensible. I think because um, getting you know getting a bit of experience, looking you know, and then seeing what would be useful to study 
uh, that would uh, would help your understanding of the, the systems you're working in. Um, sounds like a very good idea. But yeah, do come in touch and do check out the magazine, you know, and, and do a bit of a search and see if you find there's all sorts of material there. Um, you have got a subscription, have you? Um, no, I have not yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you just put in the, the code FESTIVAL with a capital of S, F, and you get a, a free three month quarterly subscription. Um, and you can join our, um, it, if you, on one of your MailChimp mailings, if you look at the, if you go to the bottom of the mailing, you can click and change your preferences to include the, the Mint newsletter as well, which oh, we okay, nice. all our articles on a weekly basis. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, thanks very much. Oh, we've got some more questions. Um, okay, uh, um, Mary, I will ask you up. On my computer yet. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Uh, so you asked, uh, ask your question again. Okay, so um, uh, I've never heard of economic pluralism like before this uh, festival, yeah? So I was wondering, is it like a new area that has been, that you're trying to venture into or it's it's been there for a while? Well, I suppose there's a difference between um, particular areas of economics. So in economics, there's lots of different schools of thought which have existed for, you know, often for quite a long time. So there's uh, complexity economics, which was really invented in the early 80s, uh, okay. 1980s. And there's institutional economics, which really became a particular school in the 1930s um, mm -hmm. and is still uh, is still going. Um, there's feminist economics, uh, which I suppose maybe came out the 70s, 80s. So the, there are a range of different schools that have been going on for a bit, but they're not taught generally in universities. Okay. So if you go to universities, you would never hear of all these schools, other schools of thought. So what yeah. economic pluralism is saying is that we should have a plurality, plurality of perspectives taught, that mm -hmm. only teaching one perspective is wrong and only using one perspective to inform policy is wrong. Yeah. The mainstream perspective they try and say, well, we're a science and we've got them all the right answers. So all the other schools, mm -hmm. they've just, they're, they're the past. Uh, um, they're the failed areas. We've come up with the right conclusion. Now, if the world was in a really good state and mm -hmm. the economies were managed really well and we didn't have crashes and we were dealing with climate change and everything, well, you might say, okay, well, maybe, maybe, they, maybe they're right. But <laughs> if we look at the way the economies are, we see they're failing. Most yeah. people, most of the time. So the fact that they're excluding lots of other perspectives is a real problem. So we're, the economic pluralism is really about promoting a pluralist views rather than creating a new research area per se. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So it's more akin to sort of civil rights or feminism or you know, more a struggle to be heard to be mm. for other perspectives to be heard and valued. Okay, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, thank you. And, and hopefully, you know, perspectives, uh, particularly, um, you know, it's relevant to uh, fighting racism, uh, you know, economics at the moment does not recognize or represent uh, uh, the, the problems of racism, you know, for one, mm. one other example, uh, you know, and also of feminist, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, discrimination and so on. Yeah. Thank you very there's much. There's so many areas to be touched on, yeah. There are so many areas, so many excluded people and ideas and perspectives. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Any other uh, questions? Or um, I think we've 
um, done 20 minutes or so. And so um, I'd be happy to wind up and um, uh, the, um, the formal presentation process. Okay, thanks very much. And uh, thanks very much for your questions and look forward to talking further.